Lebanon's Prime Minister-designate has announced he is stepping down after failing to form a coalition government. The decision threatens to sink Lebanon deeper into crisis. The country remains without a government for nearly a year. The last one was forced to resign after the huge explosion at a Beirut port last August. Political squabbling has repeatedly obstructed efforts to form a government and sent the currency to unprecedented lows. Imported medicine and fuel are increasingly increasingly unaffordable. I'm now joined by DW correspondent Basil Aridi in Beirut. Another try to form a government has failed. Why is this so hard? According to the designated or former prime minister now, in an interview last night with a local TV channel, he said that the reasons behind this failure due to, first of all, that the Lebanese president refused to take the cabinet, the, the, the cabinet uh, line of 24 ministers, which considered Hari by Hari that it is the, the, the best government or the best cabinet to do the reforms and to take the, the, the uh, Lebanon out of its crisis. Second, that main, the main obstacle that the, the president and his son-in-law, Gibran Basi, the former uh, minister of foreign affairs, refused to, uh, to uh, refuse that Hariri will name two of the Christian ministers. Third, that uh, Hezbollah, he accused Hezbollah, Saad Hariri accused in his interview last night, Hezbollah, that he didn't put enough pressure to form the new government. So this is what announced by Saad Hariri. But on the other hand, we have some other obstacles, which is uh, obvious that the current situation, the crises in Lebanon is so hard for anyone to take to handle it. So it is a suicide mission. Hmm. So given the deep financial and economic crisis, you mentioned the currency there, the country urgently needs a government capable of acting. Let's have a look at uh, the challenges that Lebanon is facing right now. Anger is rising up in Beirut. This time, relatives of those killed in last year's port explosion. Taking their protest to the courts, demanding that immunity granted to senior politicians is lifted so their loved ones can finally get justice. We want the immunity to be lifted and to get justice and truth. That's all we want. We're not asking for the impossible. Since that deadly day last summer, Lebanon's problems have only got worse. Long lines of cars at gas stations tell the story of a country running out of money, unable to pay for fuel and forced to ration it. And the people, too, are running low on hope. They killed us twice, uh, first on August 4th, the bomb in Beirut. Uh, second, the economic crisis. We want to, like, become something in society, but... Like, the whole damn thing is, like, pushing us down. Is all the poor people, how will they get money? How will they eat? So many ladies with babies walking down the street. It's very sad. Pharmacists are warning of medicine shortages as the state can't afford to subsidize them. We are going on, uh, on strike, on strike every week, just to shed the light about uh, the crisis, because we don't have enough quantity to, to serve the medications to the people. Uh, there is shortage in medication. Power cuts are a regular feature of life. But now blackouts like this are growing ever more frequent, casting the city and the country into darkness. Well, our correspondent Basil really is still with us in Beirut. Uh, Basil, what are the most urgent reforms a new government has to tackle? According to the French initiative that all political parties agreed on, first of all, the electricity sector, uh, the report said uh, it's going from bad to worse. Uh, now, electricity cut, uh, it's about 18 hours per day. Uh, second, it's uh, to uh, implement uh, capital control law, uh, judicial, judicial uh, reforms, and to fight corruption. But None, none of these happened and until this moment. All, none of, uh, not a single reform had occurred due to the political turmoils. Uh, Basel, the, um, after the prime minister stepped down, what's going to happen next politically? 
according to the Lebanese constitution, the Lebanese president must ask for the uh, parliamentary uh, uh, parliamentary that to, to nominate a new prime minister. But as well, this is not an, an easy task. First of all, uh, as I mentioned before, it's a suicide mission according to the political turmoils, an ability to do reforms, an ability to, uh, to, uh, to act according to the French initiative and to implement what has been demanded by the international community. So it's a very hard task. Uh, until this moment, we can say that uh, the, the Lebanese uh, economy in its state of free fall and the, uh, in uh, moving forward toward a political chaos. DW correspondent Basel Aridi in Beirut. Thank you very much, Basel.